Welcome back to Drive Electric and in today's video we're going to tell you everything you need to know for a complete beginner's guide on charging your electric vehicle. Now the first thing I want to do is kind of go over some of the base terminology and the first one is going to be kilowatts. That is simply the rate of charging. How much electricity can flow at a specific time from your charger to the vehicle itself. Kilowatt hours, typically noted as KWH, is the capacity of the electricity, meaning how much energy can be stored in the vehicle or how much energy is physically flowed from the charger to the vehicle. So KW is the rate of charging, KWH is how much electricity transferred. Now think about it this way, an electric vehicle that has a 50 KW electric motor and it has a 50 KWH battery, if you ran that motor at maximum speed, you would drain the battery in exactly one hour. When it comes to charging your vehicle, there are three different levels that you can choose from. Level one, level two, and level three. For all intents and purposes, we are going to cover level three, but I wanna talk about the first two levels up front. Level one is going to be perfect for home use primarily, and that is going to be the slowest way that you can possibly charge your electric vehicle. It uses just a normal 120 volt household outlet, and it may be enough for you if you have a very efficient EV, but if you're like me and you have an F-150 Lightning, this is not what you want to do. It will take multiple days to charge your vehicle from empty to full. Most of these vehicles charge at a rate from 1.3 to 2.4 kW, and so all depending on how um, how inefficient your vehicle is, you may or may not want to use this type of a charger. But most people will opt for that level two charging. The reason for that is because most of those chargers will charge anywhere from three to 19 kW worth of charging. That's some significant range and you have a lot of different options inside of that. Now we haven't talked about amps and volts much just yet, but I do want to let you know the level two is going to operate anywhere from 208 to 240 volts. Volts is simply the amount of energy forced through that electric cable. Uh, think of it as a garden hose, if you will is the more you turn up the water pressure, the more water is going to be flowing through that garden hose. Whereas amps, if you hear me talk about that later in the video, I'm basically talking about a bigger pipe allowing for more flow through that same electric cable or garden hose if we're going to continue on with that particular example. But what you need to realize is there is quite a few different things. You need to find out how much are you going to be driving this vehicle. If you're going to be driving two and 300 miles a day, uh, you probably need to go with with level two without question. You also need to find out the efficiency of your vehicle. Like my F-150 Lightning gets two miles per kilowatt hour, 2.1 over the 6,000 miles that I've put on it so far. Based on that, I pretty much need a level two charger because I can drive 100, 150 miles in a day. Uh, but what's really cool about that is I can get a nearly full charge in just a few hours instead of a day or so. If you want me to put it in layman's terms, if you're not sure whether level one or level two is the right for you, I would also always recommend you go with a level two because you've got a lot of overhead. Meaning that if you run into a situation and you're only home for a few hours, you definitely want to have that level two on your side, not the level one. You could potentially get in a pinch if you go with that level one. And by the way, on that level two charger, you need to make sure you're having a qualified electrician putting your plug in. Most of those plugs use a NEMA 1450 outlet in your garage. You can plug up the charger there and you'll get just about all of the charging that you'll possibly need. Now, there are a lot more details to the level two charging. Um, and so I'm going to hit those on the very, very helicopter high view because this is the beginner's course. But keep in mind that there are different speeds, different speeds of chargers, meaning that um, like my F-150 Lightning, because it's the extended range, came out of the box with an 80 amp charger. We've talked about it a little earlier that the bigger the amperage, the bigger the hose pipe, it allows for a lot faster of charging. Now, in full disclosure, not every vehicle can charge at that charge rate on level two. So just kind of keep that in mind. But when in doubt, go with the fastest charger that doesn't break the bank. And if it does break the bank, maybe consider going one step lower if it's not going to mess up with your daily commute. Now let's talk about the big boy, and this is DC fast charging, also known as level three charging. This charging goes at you know anywhere from 400 volts to 1,000 volts worth of power. 
and it kicks off a huge power draw. And so for that reason, and also because of the high cost, it is really just a commercial only. This is designed for long distance traveling. If you're driving from Birmingham to Orlando, Florida, which I did in my F-150 Lightning, those are the chargers you're gonna be using on the road is those high speed chargers. And most of these level three chargers, I say most, that most of them don't go this fast, but some of them can go all the way up to 350 kW kilowatts worth of charging. That is obscenely fast, and not every vehicle has the ability to do that as well. Since I keep talking about my F-150 Lightning, um, I will say that the F-150 can charge at a rate of up to 150 kilowatts. Uh, I've actually seen it up to 160, but for a very, very short period of time. But some vehicles like the, the Porsche Taycan can charge up to that 350 kW worth of charging, which makes it really nice for interstate uh, charging when you're out of town. This DC fast charging is not recommended for your daily use. If you have to rely on a DC fast charger, an electric vehicle may not be for you because, because you're putting so much power so fast into the battery pack, if you use it every single day, you're going to run into some longevity issues with that battery pack. Obviously, there's a lot of different battery packs available. You, you've got different technologies, different minerals, and some of them react differently. But right now, with the current technology, most vehicles are totally fine to do level 3 fast charging. But if you do it every day consistently, it's not going to be good for the battery. The way that I like to look at that is if you are going to be charging your smartphone and you put the, the charger that came with it into it, you're going to be having a lot better battery life than if you were to take some other kind of charger that charges at five or six times that rate and you charge that way every single day, your battery life on your cell phone is going to be diminished uh, significantly over the lifetime of your phone or of the vehicle. It's the same thing in both situations. Now, DC fast charging is extremely convenient, um, but I will tell you though, that does come with a price because this can be up to four times the price of normal home charging. If you're gonna be charging at home on level one and level two, that's gonna be where you're really going to see the savings because you're gonna be paying per kilowatt hour, I know with my personal home uh, electric bill, I'm paying 14 cents per kilowatt hour. I just added 46 kilowatt hours to my battery pack. And when you factor that in at the 14 cents per kilowatt hour, it cost me $6.44 to get 88 miles worth of range. That's where you're going to see the significant savings, not with the level three charging. Now, speaking of charging and paying for the level three charging, uh, there's two ways that you'll usually see uh, level three fast charging. One is they might charge you by the amount of time your vehicle's plugged up to that fast charger. Uh, the other way is they will charge you by the kilowatt hour. I charged just the other day just to test out a brand new charger and they were charging me like 48 or 50 cents per kilowatt hour for that DC level three fast charging. And so that's kind of where I'm coming up with the 14 cents per kilowatt hour versus 50 cents per kilowatt hour. That's nearly four times the price or it might even be four times the price. I'm not good at math, leave me alone, I'm from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, level three fast charging is not what you want to rely on for your daily commute, but it is a great thing to rely on when you're going long distance. I've mentioned my F-150 Lightning quite a few times in this video. If you haven't already done so, click on the link just below the like button. We did a tug of war with my F-150 Lightning up against a Ford Super Duty with a thousand pound feet of torque in that diesel engine. You're gonna be shocked at the results of that. If you haven't had a chance to, make sure you check out that video and have a great day. Peace.